Righty, I just want to do a massive shout out to all my patrons. Uh, love your support and um, keep it up and I'll keep doing what I'm doing. Um, now, love all the support from all the different levels, but especially from the company support level. So thank you to the hunting club and to Master Plumbing Services. So if you're, uh, if you're not familiar with the hunting club, you need to get onto them. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description. It's a great club, it does some massive giveaways, guided hunts with me, guided hunts all over the, all over the place, like New Zealand, Queensland, you name it, they're doing it. Um, there's also great product giveaways, public liability insurance, part of the uh, membership, and also in some states it's a reason to own a firearm. So check them out, they're definitely well worth uh, joining up to. And they also have a closed forum similar to a Facebook sort of setup, so you don't have the haters uh, hating on you. It's just all hunting and uh, like minded people there having a good old chat. So go check them out. Now, also with uh, Master Plumbing Services based in Melbourne, they specialise in CCTV inspections, but also do all your general plumbing in the Melbourne area. So I'll leave a phone number in the description to call. Um, so if you are in need of a plumber, give those guys a call. Even though it's a plumbing service, it's nothing that related with uh, hunting. Uh, he's a hunter, I'm a hunter, he's supporting me and my business, so I'm going to support his business. So if you can, jump on board and support another hunter. If you can go into a shop that uh, is a hunter, uh, it's just good to be able to support the community. So yeah, just big shout out to everyone on Patreon, but especially the guys there on the company support tier. Uh, love your work. Right, yeah, this hunt's over for Jeff and I, but uh, we're just about to head up to camp and pack up and walk on out of here. But you should uh, grab yourself a drink, get comfortable, and I hope you enjoy the content. Hey, right, eh? Here we are. We're just stripping off a layer or two because for July it's a balmy eight degrees, but the sun's out and I'm sweating already. Uh, got Jeff here with me, so uh, we've got three days in the bush here to try and get it done and. Come along for the adventure. I hope you enjoy the ride. Yeah, just rolled into camp and uh, we've got enough light to set up camp today. We've made real good time. and um, Yeah, so I'll set up camp before we go for a look this Arvo. Uh, carrying 18 kilos today. No good. Yeah, I'm getting too used to those low teens to be carrying the heavier weight. But anyway, glad to get the backpack off. We'll, uh, we'll get camp set up. Young Spiker. Hiding in the yearling. One above it to the left, just a little bit. Alright, hey, we're on. Where's the big daddy stags? And the girls are out. I think it's just a hind, but... There's one here somewhere, mate. I'll pop out shortly. Yeah, usually. Real dark. 
And this is the spiker. There's three of them right at the tops of the trees at the um, yeah. the bottom of the... Is that the one with the arse here? Yeah. Yeah, I see that one. And there's two beside it. Behind, I would have swore that was going to be a stay. I reckon there's one to the left of it too. Dang. Yeah, well, we had a cracker afternoon. Yesterday, I saw a bunch of deer, but no stags, so got a lot of places to look, so we know where all the hinds are, so we just got to go back and find them, go over them again, see if a stag's joined them during the night. That's the plan today. It's the same group. Sort of see in body size and colour. Compared to the hind, just dark, eh? Yeah. Low twenties. About that long. Yeah, well, we spotted that stag up really high, but it's not really big enough to warrant the effort to get up there. So we've got a couple of hinds around the corner here. We're going to go and glass into the sunny faces there for the rest of the day, I think. They've got young ones with them, so good chances of stag hanging there somewhere. Hopefully he's big enough to go after. Yeah, well, we ain't been glassing all morning and we did spot some hinds and one stag really early. But we've moved up into this other spot and sun's out, but can't cannot find a deer to save ourselves. Breeze has picked up a little bit, it's a bit breezier on the other side, so maybe they've tucked into the gullies a bit. But yeah, it looks perfect. We've got hunters up on the hill. We've seen their tents and saw their headlamps last night, so... Maybe the deer around here are a bit spooked, maybe. Anyway, we'll keep looking. We've had a bit of a weather change. Wind's picked right up, but it's brought with it a little bit of rain. 
So um, we snuck out of camp fairly early today to, to move downstream a bit and try and glass some uh, more sheltered gullies because this wind, they definitely wouldn't be uh, bedding in it. Um, so it's, it looks really late, but it's only about two o'clock, so we're out plenty early enough. Got heaps of sign where we actually walk through, so I might just bump into one too. The deer are out and about, and it's not even three o'clock yet. See how much he's looking around though? I reckon there's something with her. Too far away from the mother deer to be paying attention to them, so. Yeah, it's another one. She's attacking him. We saw that deer run down real quick and then it was doing heaps of circles so confident it's down where I last saw it.
just give it a little bit. Freshly snapped off. Shot, mate. Good size. <laughs> That's what a 178 ELDX will do. Oof. All right, eh? here we go. We've Jeff's managed to knock over a bit of camp meat. Yeah. 150 yards from camp, which is pretty awesome. We'll, um, we're doing a slow stalk back to camp with the air in our face and right on last light, as you can sort of tell. And um, yeah, what did yeah. you just come around the corner of a tree? Yeah, I was sort of just heading down the top of the ridge to camp and I saw something dart out of a bush. And then, um, yeah, we just sort of held up and I sort of took a pace forward and I just saw it standing there and <laughs> that was it. So a nice yeah. broadside shot. Yeah. Just followed it down the hill. Yeah, I, it took off a like hundred mile an hour and was doing some donuts. I don't know if I've got footage of that, but um, yeah, when I saw it doing donuts, I've gone right. It's running out of blood. It doesn't know which way to run, and then it did a bit of heap crashing, which must have been through this bit of scrub up here. And yeah, made a good shot. Um, ELDX have smashed a great big hole in this thing, and um, yeah, thanks to HNS Firearms for um, hooking me up with this Tika. Uh, T3X light stainless 3006. Um, yeah, Jeff didn't really feel comfortable bringing his rifle because it was a surprise uh, present yeah. from his wife, so he didn't have any time to prepare. So luckily, I had this 3006 all dialed in, ready to go. And um, yeah, so thanks again to HNS Firearms for this uh, rifle. And uh, we've got a little bit of knife work to do, and we'll be having a, a cook up tonight, which will be good. Be good, yeah. Well done, mate.
Righto, here we go. Heart skewers, a little bit of hardcore carnivore camo meat rub. Going on the fire for a snack. What do you reckon, mate? Sounds good. <laughs> No. Oh yeah. Yeah? Good. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Smells good. Mm. Getting wet here. That's sensational. Never gets old, that's for sure. Hard on a stick, smoked on the fire. Can't beat it. Check out the tarp. It's like a big bit of canvas. Last night it rained a bit, so a bit of our gear got wet. So I had my um, poles folded up. Now they're frozen overnight, I can't put them back together. So because they slide in, in and out of each other, the, obviously the water in, in there is frozen. And the other thing you shouldn't do is um, leave your water filtration system set up overnight because, yeah, the hose is frozen too. But anyway, it's going to be a cracker day. It's not a cloud in the sky and it is proper cold. So we're going to go glass some sunny faces, see if we can find some antler. Perfect conditions, sunny faces, but no deer. We've put up one and uh, yeah, just not seeing them. It's dead, so still, still frost on the ground. Sun's hitting all these faces, but yeah, nothing.
been in camp and uh, broke down those back legs into their muscle groups and trimmed them up. Ready for the hike out tomorrow. And, um, yeah, we went for a big walk today. No good. So we're uh, going to spend the afternoon glassing. See if we can spot something for a stalk. Perfect conditions, just light wind. It's been a beautiful sunny day. Had a bit of a snooze in the chair back at camp. Drying out some gear. A little bit frosted. Made everything a bit wet once it uh, defrosted. But anyway, we'll see how what we can turn up this afternoon. The last morning covered in frost so we were um, glassing off the end here where we saw a bunch of deer yesterday afternoon and picked up four but there's still a bunch of them missing so because of the frost they sort of tend to get into the cover I think and get out of the uh, frosty conditions but we we're sitting on the end there and uh, could hear this noise. Jeff thought it might have been a, a cat, but uh, it was a little deer calling to its mum. So something just around the corner here, squealing sort of thing. Cross between a cat and a bird really. It's quite loud, I didn't get a chance to catch it on the video. But, uh, we've got hunters on the other hill here. Jeff heard a shot late yesterday afternoon, so see their headlamp in camp last night. So they might have got a good deer maybe. I'll spend a little bit longer glassing and then go back and pack up camp and start the big task of walking out of here with a bag full of venison. having a bit of a break because uh, we're a little bit heavier than usual but that's all good I've got a bit of breeze which is keeping us cool and we're making pretty good time with baby steps 
one step at a time. But it's definitely harder. What do you reckon of that, mate? 